everybody, it's Kelly and Lucy here at Cranberry Fields and we wanted to tell you about our top three picks for hydrangea for your garden and your landscaping. So we have something called Pinky Winky Hydrangea, we have something called Annabelle Hydrangea, and then we also have our Limelight Hydrangea. Now all three of these have a lot of similarities. All three are going to be super easy to grow they're almost guaranteed to come back every year. So a lot of us have our hearts broken every year um, with some of our Nico hydrangeas that grow on something that's called old wood. And what happens with the Nikos is they start to come into bud form in early spring. And every now and then we'll get a cold snap in spring and it will uh, kill those new buds. And once those new buds are frozen off, they're not gonna come back because they only grow on old wood. These varieties, Pinky Winky, Limelight, and Annabelle, all grow on what's called new wood or new growth. So what happens is each of these stems was formed this season. So even if there was a cold snap and some of these uh, buds were frozen off, a new stem would grow and you would get the blooms regardless of whether we had a cold snap or not. So another similarity that all these have besides growing on what's called new growth is that they all start off uh, as a different color. So the Annabelle hydrangea is gonna start blooming um, in spring, mm -hmm. in the beginning of June, and it's this white color. And it's kind of crazy that I have this white bloom now because it's September here in New Jersey. So this is not the norm. The norm is usually, you'll see on the stem right next to it, kind of like this green uh, ball. They get really large and they turn this beautiful dried green uh, type of flower. So this is the Annabelle. It's a great hedge. You can see in back of Lucy and I, we have a whole hedge row in back of us. And this makes for a really nice border plant. Once again, you'll have the blooms every year, uh, whether you fertilize it or not, whether you prune it back or not, it'll come back every year. And all three of these varieties have the same uh, pruning. So if you do prune them, you can prune them back in early spring or late winter, and they'll give you profuse blooms. If you decide that you're too lazy or you forgot and you didn't prune them, it doesn't matter. They're gonna come back anyway. So they're really, really easy to maintain. Once they're established, you don't have to worry too much about the water as long as you have ample rain each season. Um, and you'll see that the limelight hydrangea turns this beautiful uh, red. And the limelight hydrangea is similar to Pinky Winky in that around this time of year in September, they have this beautiful red and green color and they make for great dried flowers. So these are just three varieties that we absolutely adore. We have them all over the farm and they make for a really super low maintenance, easy to grow, they'll come back every year. They probably won't break your heart. They haven't broken ours yet. So try them out. They are definitely three of our absolute favorites. Pinky Winky, Limelight Hydrangea, and Annabelle Hydrangea. Enjoy, and if you liked our video, give us a like, and feel free to visit us at cranberryfields.com. We have a blog with lots and lots of tips and hacks for your garden and um, your landscaping for your home. Bye now.